still remember the day that you came. All right. So as you guys know, we framed out this entire living space up here. It's one clean, big, open space. Today, we're gonna to be framing in the only interior walls in here, really, and that's the bathroom. Unfortunately, we don't have any two by fours to do this. So the first order of business is running down to BMC to get some two by fours. <laughs> is that Brandon? Yay! Smile today. Yeah. <laughs> What's the verdict up there? Can you? Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm kind of trying to do some fine tuning on the layout in the bathroom for the plumbing so that it's not a huge pain in the butt. It's just not cooperating. <laughs> Also, yesterday I went and got a cherry picker and I went and got a new jack because one, our Old Jack has some problems and it can't jack up more than like six inches. But I bought a cherry picker so that we can hopefully hoist these axles out of this trailer because this is Mountain Made Vans' trailer when they need to pick up and go get large items. We need to get that back to the shop. What are you doing? Can you hear? Yeah, there she goes, the rapid jack. Boom! See how fast that really goes? Jack wheel for like you're jacking something heavy, you just use the foot pedal. Oh, oh what? Whoa! That's convenient. Where are you going? Whoa! Going down. Wee! Pretty nifty. Just like that, ta-da! Most people call this a cherry picker or an engine hoist or a shop crane, uh, but hopefully this thing is actually gonna do what we need it to do and pick up these boxes that the axles are in and move them off of the trailer. And then once we get the trailer out of the way, we can rearrange the axles. Hopefully this goes according to plan. Mission success for the most part anyways. We got both of the crates off of the trailer. We got one crate over here in the corner. I think we're gonna throw the bumper and all these spare parts on top of that crate. Then we're gonna put the other crate right there. Then we're going to BMC. Jump and touch the top of that. <laughs> Can you? Yeah. Oh, pretty close. Uh, 145 we got like an hour and a half or something and uh, I don't want to start framing the bathroom walls because 
we won't actually finish framing the bathroom walls. So we got all the two by fours up there. It's all ready for us tomorrow. I think now we're gonna get this trailer out of the way, cool. flip the truck around and wire up the light bar. Light bar. But first, we're gonna open this fun little package over here. Ooh. What is Spectra. This? Spectra. That's the brand of my pump. That's good. <laughs> this is a transit laser. So basically you set this up, it self levels, it shoots a laser like over your whole, anywhere you have line of sight of this device. And then this is a receiver, that little red zone right there. I know. It receives the laser. This is for excavating before concrete. Yeah, this is for excavating. To make sure that our forms are at the right height and to make sure that we've excavated down far enough. Cool. It's, it's a lot of purposes that we have that. And also, once we're done with the garage, we're actually not done building. So don't, 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 think, don't think that we're just buying this <laughs> just to do this excavation on the sides of the garage, okay? We have some plans in store, We've guys. Got big plans. It's going to die in our basement. Yeah, right. One day it'll become an actual uh, cell. Ten millimeter quarter inch drive. <laughs> for this to work, but I don't know if this plug is going to work. I got the plug connected. If anything happens, that plug is going to melt and catch on fire. And uh, What? That would be bad. But I don't think it will happen. But it could. Trent. It's their little faulty plug. I don't know. Lika? Is that bright? Yes. Well, that was fun. Looks good. All right, now I just got to spend 15 minutes trying to get zip ties on those wires to make sure they're not touching anything that's going to melt them and <laughs> please no fires. Put them in nice non-jiggly spots. No jiggles and no fires. Maybe I'll make a little coil around uh, Jerry's house over here. Keep them warm. Yeah. Some radiant heating. Give them some some in-floor electric heating. <laughs> I feel like he's got to be gone for good. There's no way he's coming back. Well, he's definitely not here right now. It's, the house is under contract. Somebody else is going to be moving in soon. Well, over the next two weeks, he might be... Coming back? He might be going up in there. This is his timeshare. He's not here full time. Yeah, but he knows how to find it again. <laughs> Pretty sure. Now we're coming up here. So just kind of look around for a minute, kind of look at how we're going to lay out the bathroom in here. Got all of our two by fours up here, ready to build the wall tomorrow. I love when you say stuff like, oh, I'm going to jump up there and do the roof sheathing. Yee! <laughs> oh, it's going to be so nice and comfortable in here. I haven't really decided if I want the bed here or butted up against the windows. 
I don't know, TBD. But the one thing I do know for sure is that we will be using a Helix mattress up here because we absolutely love Helix and Helix is the sponsor of today's video. Helix is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses to fit your unique needs and preferences with a short online quiz that matches you with the perfect firmness for your body and offers a 100 night sleep trial and a 10 year warranty. The best part is Helix delivers right to your door and is super easy to set up. Our grandparents have been using the Twilight and my parents love their Dawn Lux. We've had such a great experience with Helix. We put a Helix mattress in the trailer. We put a Helix mattress in our house. We put a Helix mattress in the rental house with Allie's parents. We even gave my grandparents a Helix mattress and I am happy to report that every single person that has ever slept on one of those Helix mattresses talks about how great of a night of sleep they had. Yeah, I think this feels like a good spot. <laughs> Even though the door to the bathroom is gonna be like right there. So maybe we'll scoot it over just a little bit. But <laughs> if you guys are interested in getting the best night's sleep of your life, you guys can click the link in our description or you can go to helixsleep.com slash Trent and Alley and you can get up to $200 off your mattress plus two free pillows and free shipping. So thanks again to Helix for sponsoring today's video, and we are gonna call it a day, and we'll see you guys in the morning. All right, well, like you guys saw yesterday, we got a lot of projects done. We got the light bar done, we got the axles unloaded, we got all of our wood brought up here. We're heading up into the loft today. We're gonna to be snapping out some lines, putting down these walls, and these are gonna be permanent walls that are gonna dictate all of the headaches we're gonna have when plumbing the bathroom. So there's a lot riding on today, but we're ready to get it done. I don't know if you guys remember before we had the deck on the house, but after we got all of the windows and the doors in, you couldn't climb in through the windows anymore. You had to go up a ladder to get into the door and the door was like six or seven feet off the ground. So I actually remember getting pretty good at walking up the ladder with no hands carrying tools. And so now we're practicing doing that here. Only problem is it's a lot higher off the ground. Uh, still doable. Oh my gosh. I don't have any in my hands. <laughs> Shower's gonna be this way. Yep. And the shower, the tub, and the shower mixer will be here. Oh, why not on that side? Because I don't think we can have it outside, like in that wall. Really? That's an exterior wall. Really? Just the odds of it freezing and breaking and causing a flood are probably like 10 times greater. On this side, there's gonna be a vanity and a toilet. No. It's gonna be on this side? Mm -hmm. The door is gonna be over here? Yeah, the what? Door. Why? Probably be like here. Wow, that's weird. Okay. You walk in this way, and you'll have vanity, toilet, shower. That just keeps all of our plumbing. I thought there was in a the utility interior wall. That's fine. That that's totally fine. I thought there was a utility room right here. Yeah. Is that going away? I don't know. We have to figure out where to put the water heater, the furnace. And that's it, right? Those are the only two big mechanical items. Right. I just don't know if we're allowed to do it, but what I would like to do is like build a little platform right here okay. and have there be like a water heater in one and then like a furnace in another and we can just put doors on there. Is there a washer and dryer in this apartment? No. If you're here, you're just wearing the same clothes over and over and over. Oh, washer and dryer, oh, 80 feet that way. Okay. Come on up. Okay. Yeah, we should just follow the plans, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> Why make our life easy? Where do they have it? Where out the, uh, where against out the bathroom, the right zone. here. Oh, like in its own little closet. Yeah, there. it's just like attached to the bathroom, and then the door to the bathroom is over here, instead of where you're standing. Mm. Which is fine, it just takes up like another three feet into the living space. Yeah, and then we'll have to bump this out another foot for all the plumbing and stuff to land in. Yeah. So that's going to shrink the bathroom or bump it out further. That right, way. right. Decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions. See, this is the problem with building your own house is then you want to be like, ooh, we want this and we want that. And then you're like brainstorming and then we'll do something like this and then we'll frame the bathroom in and then it'll be like, oh, you can't do that because of this. And then it's like, oh, well, we already built the bathroom yeah. 
backwards with the door where the utility <laughs> closet is supposed to be. You know, it's just like, yeah, it's a little frustrating. It's okay, I'll just blame you. It's fine. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. So basically all this has been a big waste of time and now we're gonna start framing the bathroom. basically starting to frame out the interior walls in our attic space right now and I had a furnace question for you. Okay. So we have these like uh, engineered trusses and then the bonus room is in the middle of the trusses. Can I install my furnace in one of the little attic spaces on the side of the bonus rooms? Yeah, that's really typical. People do that all the time. Yep. All right, we'll talk to you later. Man. See you later. Okay. Bye-bye. I love that we're like, oh, we're gonna do this like crazy cool customized option and see if we can stick the furnace and water heater in the attic space. And Dean's like, oh, that's so typical. Everybody does that. Yeah, it's really like, common. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. We're not original. <laughs> All right, well, now that I've got that figured out, let's start framing these walls. I'm complete. What uh, happened here? What? Yeah, I broke my hammer. What did you do? <clears throat> just prying on some stuff and these oh. huge guns just ripped the head completely <laughs> off, unfortunately. That's amazing. I've never seen that before. It's pretty good. Cool. Is it? removal of the water heater. The passageway shall not be less than 30 inches in height and 22 inches in width. Hmm, what about depth? And not more than 20 feet in length. What was the minimum? 20, 22. 22. Perfect. What are we at? 22 and a half. Really? <laughs> Meant what, to be. That's what they have in mind when they're doing 24 on center. Wow. Trails. I got my eyes on you and you got no clue what I'm supposed to do, I can't help myself. Little by little, piece by piece, I take back what's been stolen from me. Little by little, piece by piece, until I'm complete. Realizing the way that we have it built right now, if we put a vanity in right here, then after you put in like the rough opening for our door and door trim without like intersecting with the vanity, yeah. our door trim is gonna like run into the ceiling. Okay. And so it's gonna have to be like cut off and like look super crappy. <laughs> and so- There was a reason they had the door here and the plans originally, it just opened up against the wall. I mean, that would make it easier. Yeah. But also like my, forecasting of thought right now is that this bathroom is almost as small as you could possibly make it really that's crazy because it looks big but maybe it's once you put not. once you put everything in there it just eats up all the space i just know that after this is built when you walk in here you're gonna go wow this bathroom is tiny really every single time yeah so we're gonna move this wall a foot that way <laughs> because basically this space right here is useless like the door is gonna open this way okay. and then there's just gonna be this giant space behind the door and then like the counter for the kitchen is here like you're gonna have like a seven foot walkway the vanity doesn't have to be so like tiny and cramped the toilet is there and then if somebody's like standing here brushing their teeth you can like walk behind them to go to the bathroom and that it's door not gonna opens be like... up behind you yeah. that direction yeah. okay approved yeah so 
We gotta rip this out. bummer to have to like rip out this top and bottom plate and move these over right after we just got everything set up but it is in no way even close to the comparison of having to live with something for 30 years and saying man you know we really should have made that bathroom about 12 inches bigger and life would have been a lot better that's true something that we've learned through all of our construction is that like yeah when you see a layout like this it might look small but once you put up drywall it's going to feel extremely small and it was like oh once we drywall all these corners and put a tub in there and put a vanity and a toilet this is going to feel like you're in a coat closet mm -hmm. so there's no way mm -hmm. people are going to be happy about that so I think we've talked about this before that whenever Trent is really concentrating, he does like this weird overbite thing with his mouth where he's just like focused so intently at the job at hand. And I joke that he looks like he's a beaver and he's like got this beaver face going on and that his spirit animal is a beaver because beavers work really hard. And it just like kind of is a just running joke. But a few years ago, he had a mustache and I entered him at a bar at a mustache competition and they like interviewed all the contestants and he was in the bathroom. So he didn't even know that he was part of this competition. They called him up on stage and they start interviewing Trent about his mustache and him as a person. What's his favorite color? Just like funny questions. And they asked him what his favorite animal was. And he looked at me and he goes, beaver. <laughs> Ever since then, he's definitely solidified his own spirit animal is a beaver. The best part is that the lady was like, what's your favorite animal? And I was like, a beaver? And then she said, what kind of beaver? And I had no idea what to say. And so I said, a river beaver. <laughs> very, this is a very memorable. He did not win the mustache competition, in case you were wondering. <laughs> very, very basic mustache that I had. And there was like guys with like the twisty, windy horn. It was a mustache competition. Should not have been there. <laughs> it was super funny. <laughs> I was worried that like the toilet was gonna be so close. It's gonna be like one of those like you stand up and you're like against mm. the wall and wow. I feel like this already kind of gives like a a crowded feeling because the ceiling is slanted right there. Mm -hmm. oh, it's just, I was really worried. You were really worried. Yeah, crisis averted. <laughs> Look at this. They cut this nail in half. Really? That's the Robin Hood of construction. But I'm noticing lately we've been half-hearted. West Side Story, don't be pretty. West Side Story, don't be pretty anymore. So extremely random, and no, I'm not pregnant, but if you're looking for a great yes. snack, I stumbled upon this amazing combination. Some organic gummy stars and some Cheez-Its. Perfect combination of sweet and salty and crunchy and chewy. It's really, really good. I don't like those. It's a really good combination. Ew, no. Try it. Absolutely not. They're good together. Cheese it and a gummy bear? Yeah, they're good. 
That is foul. <laughs> That's like guacamole and bubble gum. <laughs> no. Yeah. Like how you just develop a country accent when you're doing construction. It's always been there. It's always been there, it just my, comes out. It's my real voice actually. <laughs> I'm just a chameleon. <laughs> I adapt to whatever city folk I'm around. <laughs> It's really skinny. Is that a regular size door? Damn it, Allie. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he was like, should we make this door a little bit wider? And I was like, no, 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 just do a standard door. It looks really good. It is small. Bathroom door. It's a bathroom, it's fine. It's good. I'm just foreseeing things that my father-in-law is gonna complain about. <laughs> I can fit through there with my bag. That is the main reason I moved this wall, is because I was like, Russell is gonna say, like, I can't even walk past Leslie when she's brushing her teeth to go to the bathroom. And I was like, I can just foresee this. I was like, I need to nip this in the butt before it even happens. <laughs> Did you hear that, Dad? This is all for you. <laughs> Extra large guest bathroom. <laughs> What do we have left in here? One triple from going home. Nice. That's what I like to hear. We might need to have another one right here, but I don't care. That's it. Wait. We took a whole lunch break so we could do that. <laughs> Leo has decided that 5 a.m. is his new wake-up time, and we decided, no, it's not. And so we had a screaming battle at 5 a.m. Well, we didn't scream back at him. No. It's just hard because he's been waking up really early, so, like, obviously when he cries, like, it's heartbreaking. So I go, like, pick him up, I rock him back to sleep, and then as soon as I put him back down to sleep, he wakes up and cries again. So now we're trying to see if he'll self-soothe a little bit, but he's just going through something. What is it? The only thing consistent about a baby is that they change all the time. Mm -hmm. So, he's just changing. <sighs> all right guys, and just like that, it is the end of a wonderful Friday. We did get the garage, or at least like the upstairs. I guess it's basically fully framed. I know. All we had to do was like frame in the bathroom and even though we had to like kind of rip it out and do it twice, it's done correctly now. Yeah, it's the only wall in that entire apartment. Yeah. So we can start plumbing now. Yeah, basically. That's cool. I mean, hopefully we can start building the additions before we start plumbing, but... We have plumbing, options. Plumbing is the next step. <laughs> Anyway, if you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Helix for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.